Hey y'all, good morning. I just wanted to say hello. It is Friday. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm on my way to work. Oh, I'm late. Mm. I am late. So I'm going to record while I drive, okay? I'm 11 minutes late. I thought I was running a little late, but I got in here and started relaxing. I am burning my Friday incense. Oh, it smells lovely. It's the money drawing incense. Anyway, um, I'm here at ground zero of the coronavirus and I just want to let you all know that um, by the time that the media started reporting on coronavirus, it was already moved through. But um, kind of let people get hysterical about it because most people have not been cleaning like they're supposed to be doing. They haven't been doing that. They have been... Um, their housekeeping just was down. And I'm gonna tell you something. Um, the Hispanic and other races, at least here, I'm just talking about Washington. Their, their specialty is not cleaning. These ladies don't clean, okay? They go to somebody's house and they bring their kid for some fool la la or they spend their time doing the fool la la and when they so-called clean, it's not cleaning. <coughs> Those who do know how to clean, you know what I'm talking about. Pushing around, uh, mopping with a dry mop, not using no Lysol, not really using no elbow grease, to get that grime out of that grout and all of that, it's work. And the one thing that I have seen, I've never seen so much prostitution. It's prostitution on every level. Male, female, dog, infants. Do you hear me? When I worked on McNeil Island, there was a woman in the Special Commitment Center who raped babies, a white woman, a white woman. A lot of the uh, clients at the Special Commitment Center, they had worked for Boeing. They've got pensions from Boeing. They've been at Boeing for a long time. And like today is Friday, I stopped going into the bank. You know why? Because I would go into the bank and uh, there would be my black church members, older men, going into the bank today to get wads of cash. And that ain't to take their wife to dinner or anything like that. It's to do something lascivious. And they look terrible. Ooh, they look terrible. So, that's what I want to tell you about Washington. There's somebody calling me from Centralia. Um, I'm late. I don't have time. Okay, so, anyway. Um, what I want to say, y'all. This is a nasty place. That's what I want to say. Um, even at my job, I'm always Lysoling. I'm using my proper PPEs because I don't want to catch contact dermatitis. I don't want to catch scabies. I don't want to, these people are nasty, nasty. I first found it out 
uh, when I first moved here about some girl having renal, uh, anal sex in the men's bathroom during Halloween with a stranger, you know? And I did leave. I left this place. I got Joseph and we was out. We caught Greyhound bus back to Texas. I couldn't get a job. <laughs> I had my income tax refund. I couldn't get a job. Um, that was decent. Oh my God, you just don't, be- you just would not believe. Every place is, has its own situation. The only place that I really loved was Baghdad. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the Iraqi people, good. The Americans, not. Our incident reports, the incident reports that I would receive about young Americans and the stuff that they would do. And it didn't matter the race. Just something about that first taste of freedom and what comes out of them is always bad. And so we would have to cart, pack the crap up. Well, billeting did but they get a a ticket straight home. They get a ticket straight home. Did I have an anxiety attack in Baghdad? Yes, dealing with Americans, I'm telling you. They're creepy, they're weird, they're psychotic. There's something weird about Americans and I believe that it has to do with Native Americans. I believe that with all my heart. People think that they can do horrible, horrible things and it just washes away. It don't. I really believe that. That's the reason why I have not killed nobody. I haven't stolen nobody's money from them. Um, Even today at work, I I have guaranteed hours or whatever to get paid. But I'm still going in. I'm still going in. There's a form I need to complete, I believe, because my manager did it wrong. I'm not going to go at him on it. I'm just going to submit another form. (laughs) That's what I'm going to (laughs) do. And hopefully I will see another manager and not this one because he doesn't know what he's doing. You know. So... That's what I'm going over here to do. And I have dressed a certain kind of a way so that if I'm not at work, there's some other stuff that I could be doing. I need to be over in Renton at two. And then I want to meet with John. Uh, This is, I love this man. His last name is Ken Cannon. And that is a Texas name. And so I'm going, I asked him uh, to meet me for like coffee or whatever. But, and so that's what I have to do. It's Friday. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Ah. Yes, God. I looked at Kitten today and I was like, sucks to be you, boo-boo. Sucks to be you. You know? There's one good side about being a dog is you have someone that's going to get your water for you and your food and clean up after you and stuff. But the other thing is you have to go where they take you. If they don't want to take you outside, they don't got to. If they don't don't want to feed you treats, they don't have to. If they don't, you know, different people feel different ways about their dogs. Some people don't even let their dogs in the house. That dog got to be outside. Snow, rain, sleet, it don't matter hot summer days, baby, ain't nothing happening but uh, locusts (laughs) singing in the trees, even the birds quiet, it's so hot, you know, so, but anyway, the COVID-19 is over, it's been over, Um, here in Seattle, it's a good, I never saw a street sweeper before, honey, (laughs) ow, Seattle has street sweepers, baby. Wasn't even using them. And let me tell you, with the homeless population, they need to be running. 
they need to be running because the homeless people they don't have they are gross nasty a biohazard so Seattle it needs a bigger budget just for cleaning due to the homeless population and it's really been the mercy of God that um, I gotta get gas um, that a worse plague than COVID-19 didn't happen and I'm sure that there has been other things that have happened like uh, and, and I, you know what I woke up in the middle of the night thinking COVID-19 is like a STD to me that's the only way that it makes sense that how it's spreading it, that is sexually transmitted just like um, oh god just like um HIV and you know whatever the other nasty little things that um, like herpes herpes is a virus HIV is a virus Um, the other ones are like bacterial infections but the viruses they're all sexually transmitted aren't they except for the flu but I still think it's transmitted via close contact right the flu is transmitted via uh, kissing stuff like that why somebody would be kissing on somebody with the flu I do not know I do not know but it has happened so anyway I'm going to go in here and do this different form and change it again. And da, 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 say, hey, what's up, what's up? I'm going to go to our new offices. And then from there, I'm out. I hope. I'm quite sure that they will say, oh, no, we don't have nothing for you, miss. And I'm going to be like, good. See ya. Go back. I need to make sure that my payroll is right for next week. Because unlike these other fools, I got a guaranteed 32, but I should get 40 because I got my sick time, eight hours that I used. (laughs) Ow! thinking y'all I'm almost over here I what I what I really want if you guys will pray for me is I want to consult uh, to be a consultant that's what I want to do I do not want to um, be like a w-2 or at a w- w-2 status I want to be on a 1099 and I want to be able to travel like I want and um, there's some things that I want to see and so that's what I want to do on my back 40. I'm also trying to get a settlement and I want the settlement to be enough for me to pay cash for my house and also have a maintenance account set up and I want to have fire, flood, you know, the, all the uh, homeowners insurance. So I want Um, all of that to come out of that account so I still you know I have to decide what I want to do about having a driver I know that um, I do want a driver but I've changed like what kind of car I wanted it to be a Lincoln but I have changed my mind about that 
I'm not sure what kind of car I want my driver to be driving me in. It might just be a Volvo. Oh, man. Anyway, pray for me that God's will be done and that I do things properly, decently, and in order the way he would have me to do it. All right, you guys, I'm here, so I'll probably be back later. Okay, bye.